This is Bumper to Bumper TV. It's getting crowded in the small crossover SUV segment, and Volkswagen knows there are a lot of other players there where they position the Tiguan. So now, the vehicle has undergone a visual refresh with a new grille. There are also changes to the rear taillight assembly. This is a move to bring it more in line with its big brother, the Torre. The upgrades to the exterior are also evident around the C-pillar, where a chrome trim piece has been added. Mechanically, VW is standing pat with a turbocharged 2-liter 4-cylinder engine. Rated at 200 horsepower and 207 foot-pounds of torque, it's an efficient power plant. However, its fuel economy numbers, while improved, are not class-leading. That might be due in part to a curb weight of 3,400 pounds for the front-wheel drive version and 3,600 pounds for the four-motion drive train. For some reason, VW has opted not to offer its very competent 2-liter diesel in the Tiguan, even though it's available in the Jetta and Passat. There are also some subtle changes to the interior layout, including the center stack and climate control systems. We did notice an improvement in NVH, or in layman's terms, operating noise, and the handling, much better than before. There's about 24 cubic feet of cargo space with the rear seats folded down. And with the current drivetrain, the Tiguan has enough under the hood to tow about 2,200 pounds. Currently, the Tiguan is a near-luxury offering in a segment where most vehicles are aimed at up-and-coming families. With improved fuel economy and the restyling, it is trying to become the bridge between utility and the next level. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.